welcome to the moon! It's a fun 8-bit game. I've seen, like, I've seen someone play through it and stuff, and I really like it. It's gonna be something new to the channel. It's not gonna be like all horror game-ish and stuff. It's gonna be, you know, just a nice little adventure game, I guess. So, again, I really like this game. I really do. So, I hope you guys enjoy me watching. I hope you guys enjoy watching me play it as much as I'm gonna enjoy playing it for you guys. And again, it's a really, really cute game. I'm not gonna spoil it, but I just hope you guys enjoy this game as much as I'm gonna enjoy recording it for you guys. Oh, there's my volume. I have to go to the top of the thing, if you see like anything pop up, it's because I had to record my monitor opposed to recording, um, recording the game. For some random reason, the the um, OBS wasn't picking up the game. But anyways, enough about this. Look, you guys just want to watch the game anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. To the moon. It's such a cute game. Like, holy crap, you guys! I'm probably gonna cry. I love this game so much. I, like I said, I've seen someone play through it, I don't remember exactly how everything, um, how everything goes, like, I, I was just in it mostly for the story, which I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be in it for the story as well, because it is adorable as shit. Shh, 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 it's starting, shh. I'm going to take a drink of water because it's hot in here. Playing the song. <laughs> Where were you looking, Neil? I think I gotta click. Yeah. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran, you ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit the tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does this world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, Christ is averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click an object to interact with it. Oh, so this is just going to be pointing and moving? Can I walk? No, I just point. Okay. Received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Right click to toggle menu. Oh! Dr. Neil Watson, Technical Specialist, Sig Sigmund Corp. Dr. Ava Rosaline, Senior Memory Trads Traversal Agent. Damn. Notes, items, with the box this heavy, what's inside it has to, got to be important. Ooh, I can't exit game, I don't want to do that. What do I do? How do I get out? It told me I could go to the menu, but it didn't say anything about going... Oh, okay, I just double click it, I guess. Here's the rat. Oh, the squirrel, tisk tisk. Aw, oh, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? I can't read for shit. Not crash the car and evade it. That's asking too much. Oh, why'd I... Okay. I right clicked. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Are you fucking kidding me? Not that full of you. Are you fucking kidding me? It was crashed anyways. Oh shit, there's a boulder. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's a security system. A fucking boulder. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch and jack with it. Wait. Or we can just call it a night and blame it on that. Push it by hand. Alright, on three. 
One, two, three! I... I don't even... <laughs> what was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. Well, we'll figure that out later. Right. Look at the scores again. Did you just go in anyways? Oh, that little song. I bought the soundtrack for this because it's so nice. Ma! They're here! You guys, this game is so fucking adorable! Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Oh, fuck off. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. <laughs> I guess she hates them. <laughs> It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blattering, they won't. And your eye- oh. <laughs> Don't forget the equipment, moron. <laughs> Dummy. I don't get paid enough for this. You probably get paid more than I do. You get paid a lot more than everyone. Act 1. I never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Oh my god, remember that. That is... Oh, the feels. Dr. Watts and, other, and Dr. Rosalina, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. <laughs> and these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He's just prefer he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with this medical doctor. Come with me. You guys, if you guys don't cry by the end of this game, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll see you with the insurance claim. Just grab it. Received equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs? Yes. Why would it ask me if it was telling me to go upstairs anyways? Okay, they're gone! Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody! <laughs> no fair, you pushed me. Did not! Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyways. But they're the most pretty notes. Look at that. Oh my god, this game. If only you guys could see me. I'm smiling. I love this game so much. Always wanted to play it. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey. You're the one who said there was no time to waste. And I incident and incidentally, I'm the one who was carrying the weight of a small meteor. Oh, metro Metroid? Yeah, yeah, come on. You guys are going to learn I suck at English really fast. Ready? Ready to set up? Gee, you know, I think I like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. Shut the fuck up. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. 
All right. There's not much to look around. I'll explore right now because it's going to let me explore anyways. So let's just go ahead and set this up. Yes, it'll be just a moment. There's Johnny. Written by Ken Gowell. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Again, I am terrible at English and every other language. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. Oh, we're the experts. Oh, crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. Fuck you. Damn. High tech as fuck. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed. We're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? Oh, I think it's these geezers. So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. <laughs> Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you too. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Who goes to search the house? Player control, Dr. Watts, Dr. Rosaline. Okay. Um, preferably, I like Dr. Rosaline a lot, because she's, like, really, like, strict, but she's, like, super sarcastic. And Dr. Watts is just an idiot. Like, he's literally just a fucking idiot. He'll say that, you know what, let's go with Dr. Watts. <laughs> I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school music. See, you see that? I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. Hey, Watson's pretty cool. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. You know, I'll look at whatever the fuck I want. Selection of reading from medical journals. Can't look at the books. Hey, yo, what's this? Oh, just a light switch. I just stuck here. I guess. I could turn them off each individually or I could just fucking turn them on together. Can I hold it? No, I can't. Painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Do I have to stand like right in front of it? Yes, I do. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Painting of an animal in, of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Okay, remember these pictures. It's... Uh, I don't want to spoil it. I like. I want to talk so much about the game, but I can't. Because I want you guys to experience its full, heart-wrenching feels. Wait. Come back here for a moment. I have something for you. What do you have? Why, why did you wait until this long to tell me? Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those things. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. This is the menu they're talking about. He's good. He's good. Our man is still breathing. It's so hard to control this. Oh, they're so beautiful. The, the song. What you want? 
And quit bothering. Wow. What you want? Show around the house. Hey, your mom told me told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Uh, what? There's a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Sure. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. <laughs> Where's the kitchen? What? Is it right here? Jesus, it's so hard to maneuver through here. 